line, you can just about book the points every time he steps up there. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. Both good from the line that time. Here's Fox. 26 points for him. It counts. And the foul. Jonathan Kaminga picks one up. In 2020, De'Aaron Fox signing a massive extension grade. Five years and $163 million. Yeah, and Kevin, every NBA hopeful wants that second contract. Credit to De'Aaron for working his tail off and earning every penny of that deal. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. In Golden State, looking at who they've got. The core of this team all out there. Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with Green at the four. Kevon Looney out there with Andrew Wiggins. Now, here's Fox. The pass to Sabonis. Four on the clock. Good and a nice assist from Fox. And that's 15 points for Sabonis. Well, Fox with the eyes and ears up that time. Good vision to facilitate. That was a second look at our Mobile One Drive. Amazing control on display. And a nice score that came from just attacking the rim. Huge play in this hotly contested game. Thompson for three. And the three ball is good. That gives him his second three of the half. No good on the triple. Well, he had one three-pointer in the first half. But so far in the second, he's come up with two saves. And Fox has it in the corner. Trains the three-pointer. Fox has got the lead up to seven now for Sacramento. Well, Fox is feeling it right now. A quick release off the catch and shoot. Wiggins passes to Looney. Outside Curry. Launches it. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Curry's got 33. Well, the rest of the team has looked pretty bad tonight, but he's done a fantastic job of scoring the ball and carrying the load on offense. Passes it to Herter. The feed to Monk. Murray, the pass to Fox. And off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. Fox has got five points now this quarter. Curry kicks to Thompson from the baseline. Another shot, and the layup is up and in. Well, watching that play, you would think that Clay Thompson over his career would be a little bit better offensive rebounder, aggressive that time. Now here's Herter. And here is Monk. To the inside, and stolen by Wiggins. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Floats it up for Wiggins, and Wiggins throws it down. And Wiggins committed to help the team out offensively. Big shot. Fox passes to Murray. Back to Fox. Shoots over Curry. Sabonis and he lays it straight in and the Kings lead by four and that's the reason why Sabonis gets the rock he's just upping the end timeout called the Warriors without question De'Aaron Fox displaying his skills today the defense has to take the ball out of his hands he's just knocking down every three-pointer he takes right now and now we present our New Balance player of the game De'Aaron Fox and it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. Barnes, he's checked in for Malik Monk. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Hey, guys. Well, Steve Kerr talked to his team during the last timeout. 
He said, I love how we're shooting the basketball. You guys have been locked in from three. Just keep taking makeable shots. If you don't have it, pass it to the guy who does. Kevin? Thank you, David. Kings leading now by four. Murray, the pass to Fox. Here's Sabonis. Yes, indeed, it is good. He's now eight for 14. And this is where Sabonis can play tricks. He's got every move at his disposal. Curry against Fox. Releases. Curry gets the bucket. Curry's got 16 points here in the second half. What work from Steph Curry gets open and makes it look easy. Wow. Herter kicks to Fox. Outside, Sabonis. Herter on the wing. He's covered by Thompson. They grab their own miss and slam dunk by Sabonis. Yeah, Sabonis just cleaning the board, taking care of business. That's just too easy if you're the defense. That's a floater go. Count that one, and the Kings lead has been cut down to just four points in the bucket from Stephen Curry. And that was the right call. But when you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. Yeah, whether it's teammates or the coaching staff, hopefully a combination of both, but when it gets close, he's getting the ball. And it's Wiggins with the jam. And Wiggins stepping up in a big moment. That's huge for this ball club. Here's Fox. It's good. Fox has got 36. That is a mature play from De'Aaron Fox. Not afraid to take the big one. Here's Curry. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot. But he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to go on De'Aaron Fox. I'll tell you what. He earned his money on that foul. What do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for Sacramento? This throwback approach they're taking, looking to score high percentage shots in the paint. And so far, it's working. And another part of what they've done tonight is to get a lot of work done in the mid range. And that's a shot that a lot of teams are willing to let you take. Well, they've knocked them down. In any situation, Curry is happy to go to the line. He relishes the freebies. Second free throw, no good. A tough break there. He gets them to within one possession, but that miss puts a lot of pressure on their defense. the first one and that gives them a four point cushion and so both free throws are good and it's a five point game This is a huge possession. And this is where all the hard work pays off. You have to be able to execute under pressure. He's a guy that lives for a big moment like that. Great focus and courage in the clutch. And here is Murray after the three-pointer from Stephen Curry. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. To take the lead. Oh, that shot had a chance, but no good. And so it's Sacramento who straight by with the win. What a show they put on here home tonight. I mean, these are those games that feel so great to win, and, and really, it's like a knife in the gut to lose. Uh, you, you gotta love being on edge of your seat and just wondering what's gonna happen. How is this thing gonna play out? And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Alden.